we have already seen what is Azure Virtual Desktop. It's working, usage, benefits, overview of uh, components. And now it's time to explore the host pools. Yes. In today's video, we are going to talk about host pools, which is one of the most important component of AVD. Well, we have already established that it's a pass service. If you remember the previous video, all these important components are managed by Microsoft. You can see right here, web, app, web access, gateway, broker, diagnostics, and other components. So what we're gonna do, we will uh, dig deeper and understand everything that we support, starting with the host pool. All right. So the very first question is, what is host pool? Well, host pools are a collection of one or more identical virtual machines within Azure virtual desktop environment. Let me try to explain it here. Whenever a client try to access the desktop, let's suppose client has an access of a desktop, whenever they try to access it, request goes through, well, actual flow of the request will cover in upcoming videos because there is a lot of important stuff there. But for now, just to understand the host pool, whenever a client try to access it through the past service, it will land the request somewhere like personal or maybe one of the pooled desktop. Now we need to understand the difference between personal or persistent and pooled. Personal or persistent are the same thing, but pooled are different. All right, so let's start. What is pooled? As you can see, I have created multiple VMs all together. And if we have, let's suppose one more client. So, and when this guy tried to access the AVD again, it might land up to the same virtual machine where the other client is. Let me write down here as a client. Okay. So you can configure a pooled host pool for several users to sign in and share a VM. Typically, none of those users would be a local administrator on the pooled VM. With pool, you can use one of the recommended image that includes Windows 10 Enterprise multi-session, which was one of the important thing that we discussed in previous video. It is not supported anywhere else. Always we have to buy the RDS CAL license for the servers, which actually provide the multi-session. But this time, AVD gives you an opportunity to do the multi-session with the client uh, OS, Windows 10, also with Windows 11. This operating system is exclusive to AVD, and you can also use your custom image. So in a nutshell, if you think there is a virtual machine, like I have, created pool, like there are so many virtual machines. And in a single virtual machine, we can have multi-session and multiple users can log in into the same virtual machine. That's why it is pooled. You have created, let's suppose one machine, two machine, three machine. You created the pool out of uh, your session host, your multi-session VM. And whenever request comes, you can, request is coming to this. And then again, you can have a, a different user coming to the same VM. 
then again the third user can also come to the same vm so and the fourth user again come to the same vm it depends it depends uh, on the limit and it also depends the kind of uh, pooled uh, infrastructure you have created it could be like first one comes here second one comes here and third one comes here if you have three session host in your host pool and the fourth one comes here fifth one comes here sixth one comes here and it goes on until it reaches the limit right so this kind of uh, pooled is is uh, called breadth and this one is depth and when you go depth you are actually saving a lot of money because you're utilizing a one vm up to the optimum limit and then it will start diverting the request to the another session host anyways this will also get covered in the upcoming video just for just to give you a little idea i have written this and once we do the lab and all you this would everything would be cleared but for now it is about pooled and personal i hope the pool is clear now and let's talk about personal our persistent remember we do not have the local admin access here on the pooled one because so many people are accessing this virtual machine it's a shared one but in personal you are the only one a personal host pool is where each user has their own dedicated virtual machine those users would typically be local administrator of the virtual machine this enables the user to install or uninstall apps without impacting the other users they can even personalize it if it is allowed because it's you after all who is going to log in on this virtual machine that's why some people call it persistent as well persistent desktop now users can typically modify their desktop experience to meet personal preferences and save files in the desktop environment which is pretty much possible in the personal one because you have all the access you have all the rights and you are landing on the same virtual machine always but in pooled the story is different so let's see again what personal desktop solutions allows us well it let users customize their desktop environment including user installed applications and saving files within the desktop environment allow assigning dedicated resources to a specific users which can be helpful for some manufacturing or development use cases pooled desktop solution assign users to whichever session host is currently available depending on the load balancing logarithm right it could come to request could come to the first one or to the second one or to the third one it depends the kind of load balancing is happening how many people are already logged into the virtual machine whether it's the depth or it's the breadth how it is actually uh, created okay but as i have said users don't always return to the same session host each time they connect they have limited ability to customize the desktop environment and don't usually have the admin access i'm pretty sure now it is clear why now let's see uh, a host pool what all operating system a host pool can run well you must be amazed uh, because windows 7 is there windows 10 enterprise is there if i could write uh, windows 7 windows 10 enterprise and uh, windows 10 enterprise with multi session yes you do have an image for multi session on marketplace you can run uh, 2012 r2 and above and custom of course custom windows system images with preloaded uh, apps groups policies and other customization 
you can choose a virtual machine sizes including gpu enabled virtual machines each session host has an azure virtual desktop agent yes there is an agent on these uh, session host even here which actually connects to the workspace or to the abd environment which register the virtual machine or session host as a part of the abd workspace or tenant each host pool can have one or more app groups which are collection of remote applications or desktop sessions that users can access yes there is a hierarchy in abd users don't have access to access of hostful directly but their application groups and workspaces okay now it is more like uh, let me create the hierarchy at the top we have workspaces then we have app groups and then we have host pools which is actually the collection of virtual machines i guess session host that's how it goes like this an app group is an app group is a logical grouping of applications is installed on session host in the in the host pool because we actually install you install in this host pool right an app group can be one of two types remote app where users access the remote apps you individually select and publish to the app group desktop where user access the full desktop in the very first session if you remember i gave you this example what actually ms is trying to do let's suppose uh, this is a customized image where we have these things we have os we have uh, profile and we have apps well this is the future plan we can remove os we have profile on fs logics we have apps are attached through ms ix app attach so in avd environment we do have access to remote apps and we do have access to the personalized desktop however microsoft doesn't support assigning both remote app and desktop app groups in a single host pool to the same user best practice doing so will cause a single user to have two user sessions in a single host pool users aren't supposed to have two active user sessions at the same time as this can cause various issues like users get stuck when trying to log in connections won't work screen turns black application crashes things like that and that's what uh, the app group is and if you talk about workspaces workspace is a logical grouping of application groups in abd each azure virtual desktop application group must be associated with the workspace for users to see the remote apps and desktop published to them it is more like let's see if this client is the first time what he does he simply install the client he, he either try to find the workspace through his email address or he will simply hang to the feed abd feed and he will see all those workspaces that he has access to so workspace is actually something that client will subscribe to or have access to under app groups, we would have the host pools or remote apps or personal desktop. Host pool is the combination or the collection of uh, session host, which are identical VMs. So yeah, that's all in this video. I hope this will 
be helpful and let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye